Today we continue with lesson 5 on our machine learning and data science with Python and R. And today we are going to be talking about matrix operations in Python. And this is going to be really interesting and easy to follow. Uh, so these are the topics I've laid out, about six of them. Creating a matrix, generating a matrix using a range function. This is not a range, but it's a range. Transposing a matrix, reshaping a matrix, matrix multiplication versus the dot function matrix addition and subtraction so let's get started please subscribe if you've not subscribed just hit the subscribe button below so that you subscribe and don't miss an update because we are taking it step by step this is lesson five by next tomorrow we have lesson six so subscribe and also activate notifications so that you don't miss anything so let's start with the first one the first step says we need to uh create a matrix so let me put let me put it as a comment for each of them. So the first one, creating a matrix. So let's use the example we have here of matrix A at this point. So let's create this matrix A at uh, this point. So I'm going to say A is equal to, now there are a number of ways to create a matrix, but let me show you the best way to create a matrix is to use NumPy array. So you say something like, First, of course, we get we have to import NumPy. I like to import NumPy at this point. So import NumPy as NP. All right. So let me run it. So we are going to use array function in NumPy. In NumPy, so we are going to say let's say matrix A is equal to NP dot array, and then you specify the array, uh, the matrix inside the inside the bracket. So for each of the rows, you put a comma and specify the next row in square brackets. So at this point we are talking about, we have three rows and that is why we have to specify three square brackets and then enclose it inside the last square bracket. So let me just shift it out so that it doesn't become confusing. So you have the matrix enclosed in one, bra in one square bracket and then we have the matrices inside uh, the, the rows of the matrix inside. So in this case, we are going to be saying one, two, one, two, four. And the next one will be two, four, three. The next one is going to be two, four, three. And final one is going to be zero, one, one, zero, one, one. So as an exercise, please create the remaining three matrices B, C, and D. So I'm going to I'm going to continue with the next one, so I'm going to run it. Now, if I check what A is, if I type A, you'll see that we created the matrix beautifully. All right, so let's now go to the next one. Let's see how we can generate, generate a matrix. So to generate a matrix, you use the A range function. Actually, the A range function is used to generate a list of items. So using the array array function, you can generate one dimensional matrix and then you can then reshape it to two dimensions or more. So what we are saying is, let's take, for instance, we have matrix B is equal to, let's take numbers from one to nine. So we can say a range is an MP function, MP dot a range, and then specify from one to nine. But if you say 1 to 9, 9 is not inclusive, so let's just take from 1 to 10. So if I check the, val the, the values in B, you'll see that B contains this array, okay? So at this point, you can, at this point to, to, you can now use the, the, the reshape function. You can just say B.reshape and then specify 3 by 3 or whatever dimension you want. You specify number of rows and number of columns. So if I run it at this point, you can see that it reshapes it to three by three matrix. So this is how to use the A range function to generate a matrix. Now, if you want to generate matrix, let's say of even numbers, you can simply say something like A range one to 10, and we are taking uh, in steps two, in steps of two. And let's say we are going to make it two by two. Let's see if it works. Uh, I'm going to run it at this point. So it doesn't work because it says it has five items there. So let me take up all the way to 11 so that it includes 10. So if I run it now, 
can not reshape array of size 5 into shape 2 by 2. So I have 1 to 11. So I uh, need 2. Okay. So what I'm going to do, let me check first what B is. Then we now see how we can reshape it. I'm going to run it. So it says B is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay. So actually, we could start from 0. So we can start from 0 and that solves the problem. So if I start from 0 at this point, you can see that B is 0, 2, 4, 6. Okay, so I can actually reshape to control V to 2 by 3. Because we have 6 items there, I can reshape to 2 by 3. So I can just type in 3 here. So I'm making it 2 by 3, giving us 6 items in the matrix. And this is how it is. You can as well reshape these to 3 by 2. So in any way you want it, you can just reshape it by specifying the number of rows and the number of columns you want. All right, so we've talked about matrix, uh, generating a matrix, reshaping a matrix. What about transposing a matrix? Let's take, for instance, matrix D, the one in the, the one here, the one at this point. So matrix D, you already know how to create it. So you say np.array and specify the array. So we have three, four, two, and then we have uh, 154, 154. All right, so we have matrix D. I've created it. In case you want to view it, you can just check it and we see that it's created perfectly as matrix D. All right, so now we want to transpose this matrix. We want to make this 3, 4, 2 to be the, 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 the columns and 154 as well be the columns. So we have columns, uh, only two columns. That is what we want. So now we have a two by three matrix, we want to transpose it to a three by two matrix. All right. So just to make it stand out, I'm going to just add one more item here. So let's add, let's say eight, and I'm going to add one more item here. Let's say uh, seven. All right. So if I run it, we have this matrix is fine. So let's just transpose it. To transpose a matrix, we just say D dot transpose. How easy is that? So it's just say D dot transpose and you have a transpose of this matrix. So what I would like to I'd like you to do is create matrix B, that is this matrix uh, this matrix we have here, create it and then transpose it. Okay, actually it's two by two, so it, it cannot really transpose it and get something else. But try to transpose it. If you transpose it, it it's gonna give us the same shape, two by two, but the numbers is going to change. Transpose this one as well, transpose this, transpose this. So this is the exercise you need to do uh, and then save it in a different matrix. So I want you to save the transpose of this as A, T, and then the transpose for this as B, T, and so on uh, all the way to D. All right, let's now talk about something else very important, matrix multiplication. Let's say we have this matrix, uh, matrix A, 3 by 3 matrix, we can multiply a 3 by 3 matrix with a, uh, a 2 by 3 matrix, right? Yeah, so we have number of rows, should be number of columns in the other matrix. So to multiply A by B, you can, if you say something like A times B, let's see, if you do this, it gives you an error. So let's, let's see, let's create two matrices that we are going to multiply. So let's say A1, is equal to mp dot arrange and we are creating from an array from 1 to to 10 from 1 to 10 uh, 1 to 10 okay now you can also add reshape so we are combining two function at this point reshape to 3 by 3 I'm going to run it perfect so I'm going to say a2 is equal to mp dot arrange uh, uh, mp dot arrange so I'm going to say this time I'm going to say I'm going to take from 5 to to 15 maybe 5 to 15 and I'm going to add reshape 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 to 3 by 3 
Okay, at this point, we it's actually A2 we are talking about, not A1, so I'm going to run it as well. Uh, okay, I'm not size, so I'm going to, it's actually 1 to 14. Let's take 1 to 14. Now you can check the values in, in those matrices by just typing them out at this point, like this, A1, check what is there, and A2, also check what is there by just typing it out like this. Alright, so we want to multiply A1 by A2, we can say A3 equal to A1 times A2. At this point, you can what you are doing is, is called element-wise multiplication. So if you check what is in A3, you find out that the multiply 1 times 5 gives the first element, 2 times 6, 3 times 7, and so on. So it gives a multiplication of the corresponding element for each position in the matrix. So let's check what is in A3. You'll see that that is exactly what happened. For instance, this element 6 times 10 is going to give us 60 at this point. So this actually does not have any analytical significance in arithmetic. Matrix multiplication, it doesn't work that way. Matrix multiplication multiplies the rows of the first column with of the first matrix with the columns of the second, the rows of the first matrix with the columns of the second matrix. So to get the first element of multiplication between A1 and A2, we are going to say 1 times 1 times 5 plus 2 times 8 plus 3 times 11. That is how to multiply a matrix. So I'm going to now show you how to do a real matrix multiplication. So I'm going to say matrix multiplication using the... So you are going to learn how to use the dot function. It's quite easy. So you simply say, let's say A4 is equal to A1 dot dot, you actually type it two times and you specify the second matrix, A2. So in this case, A4 is going to give us the result of multiplying uh, matrix A1 and A2, and that is the right way to multiply matrices. So I'm going to run it at this point, and you can see. Now, if you check the value for 54, it's going to be the same as 5. So let's see. This is where we are. So let me use my paint so that I can make it clearer for you. So I'm going to come here. So the first element in that matrix should be given by uh, 1 times 5, right, plus 2 times 8, right, plus 3 times 11. How do we get all this? So we have these, the, the, the rows of the first mat matrix multiplying the first column of the first matrix. So the assignment for you, do this arithmetic and see that is equivalent to 54. And try to follow up exactly the same way and verify the result we have. Again, if you scroll up, you can try to multiply matrix A and matrix C. They can be multiplied or you can multiply mat matrix B and matrix D. This is your assignment and I'm going to stop here. I'd like to recommend you make sure you follow this exactly and make sure you understand matrix operation in Python and feel free to pause the video and make sure you follow uh, very clearly. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please subscribe uh, if you've not subscribed and don't miss out the two days without completing this lesson because the next lesson is going to be available after two days. So we'll see in the next lesson.